Now let's talk about why you may want to choose App Engine or you may want to choose Kubernetes Engine to deploy your application on. And that's a really good question and a common question I get. So I wanted to address that uh, because it, it is an extremely um, interesting question in the sense that a lot of the basically features and functions are the same uh, in some respects. So for example, when we consider using Kubernetes engine or Kube engine, we could also deploy containers as well and App Engine Flex as well. Now, App Engine Standard would be out if we wanted to use con you know, containers. So that's sort of the starting point is it's easy to rule out App Engine Standard, but how do we rule out App Engine Flexible Environment versus Kubernetes Engine? And uh, it really comes down to a couple factors. So with this said, App Engine Flexible is actually focused on application development. So for example, if you have an application you want to deploy and have it managed by Google on Google Cloud, then great. On the other hand, Kubernetes and Kubernetes Engine, remember that you could deploy Kubernetes on-prem as well. So if you're using on-prem Kubernetes, then it would make sense to keep on doing that or maybe extend it out to Google Cloud, depending on what you're trying to do. But Kubernetes is actually more flexible in what you can do. Another benefit as well with Kubernetes is um, around the portability and the independence of essentially your cloud platform. So you could move those containers around wherever you want. Now, App Engine Flexible, once you deploy an App Engine Flexible, you're pretty much there because it's being managed by App Engine Flex. Also, too, App Engine um, Flexible has some limitations as well uh, into basically how many applications you could deploy. Uh, also, too, for example, um, one of the things is, um, you know, how do you migrate out of App Engine? Um, again, there's some things to think about there. Uh, there's also uh, performance uh, challenges as well, the way it scales. But uh, one of the things too is if you do use App Engine, um, it's, it's actually automated for you in the sense that uh, uh, Google's handling everything in the background. It's a managed service. With, with uh, Kubernetes Engine, Generally, you need to spend more time managing it, and therefore it requires essentially more um, administration. But with that said, uh, it is a container service either way. It's just a question of what you need. Now, with Flux as well, um, basically you're deploying, for example, with App Engine, you're going to have a number of containers of one type. With Kubernetes Engine, another thing too, they deploy more in a pod approach, for example. So there, there's, you know, again, a lot more to consider. It's not like, you know, a, a one-hour discussion uh, at, at, a, at a deep level. But there's some other things to think about, and I'll just list a few for you to think about and consider. One of the first things to consider is to understand how the containers are used. With Kubernetes Engine, it's more about the containers. With App Engine, um, the containers are more or less in the background to the developers, so they're not managing containers. With Kubernetes Engine, it's all about the containers and keeping track and managing them. So basically, the user of App Engine doesn't really, per se, get concerned about what's really going on in the background. Basically, App Engine was designed to be a tool to manage all these services and allow the developers not to have to deal with a lot of this. Now, when it comes to Flex, generally uh, the Flex environment with App Engine, it can definitely, in the right use case, probably provide better, better throughput. Because again, it's directly on Google's infrastructure and it's all managed by Google. Now, 
one of the things to also think about is that App Engine is going to scale automatically. And because of that, again, it's hands off, whereas GKE, the pods can, of course, scale, but there's um, a little bit more work to have it do what you need. So, for example, scaling up the number of nodes um, may take a little bit more work to get it correctly um, the way you want it. So, for example, how do you address a workload that spikes versus a gradual increase? Now, one of the things to, to point out as far as similarities is that App Engine and GKE do share the same resources. So, for example, um, you'd utilize the load balancer, uh, manage infrastructure groups as well, instance groups. Uh, but again, um, from a compute engine perspective, again, it's, it's still going to use those resources as well. Now, some of the templates may be a little different as well. Um, for example, uh, you know, how do you scale, for example, um, adjusting um, your vCPU, your RAM resources, etc. cetera. Uh, also, too, last thing to talk about before we move on is pricing. Now, it is pretty clear that if you want to manage GKE yourself, the resources that you're using would be somewhat cheaper in a lot of cases than if you used App Engine. So you have to look at, for example, the virtual machines that you're using. So for example, if you wanted to use preemptible VMs, it would definitely lower your cost with JKE. With App Engine, that's not really um, uh, that that's not really going to be the case because App Engine won't be using uh, preemptible VMs generally. So if you want to deploy containers for a short test, for those not familiar with preemptible VMs, generally it's going to be a VM that's going to be similar to a spot instance with AWS. That's a loosely comparable comparison, to be honest. But basically, um, you're going to get a price at about an 80% discount as compared to a standard VM. So cost perspective, you could save a lot more money with GKE depending on what you're doing. All right, so there definitely would be a lot more to talk about with App Engine and Cube Engine, but from a development perspective, I want to give you some ideas to think about and start looking into, you know, as far as what is right for your environment. Let's go ahead and uh, wrap up the module here. So we want to just make sure that we do understand from a re review perspective that App Engine Flex is certainly more automated than GKE. And if you want to use GKE, you have better flexibility and perhaps cost savings, but you'll be doing more work as well. All right, let's go ahead and move on.